Hello guys, Exogenesis here again with another first impressions video. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Demolition Inc. It is a indie title by a company I believe to be called Zero Scale and like the name says the idea of the game is to demolish stuff but obviously like most games you don't do it in a traditional fashion. Oh no, you're actually on a spaceship and you can manipulate objects, vehicles and stuff below you in order to do your dirty work. Um, so what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to have a look through the options so you can see all the options that are here and I'll explain them and I was actually quite happy with the amount of options in this game. I think more and more often games coming through with less and less options which for a PC gamer that's a bit disappointing because after all the whole idea of PC gaming is it's much more advanced than consoles and the level of hardware varies so it's very difficult to actually play a game properly if the levels of performance are all over the place um, and you've only got one level for the game it normally means that you get stuck with having really low FPS or something that looks pretty shitty um, as you can see we're on the video options now you can choose which monitor it's on you can choose the resolutions all the way up to 1080p I don't know if it goes above that if you've got a higher than that monitor more than likely will do um, you can choose your Hertz as well all the way from 29 I believe to 60 and if you've got 120 Hertz monitor you could probably choose that as well you've got your aspect ratio auto so you've got all your widescreen functionality um, anti-aliasing texture quality shadow quality but it doesn't end there because you can go to advanced and you've got your v-sync, your shaders, your normal maps, your environmental maps, your physics hardware and your multi-threaded th physics. So yeah, you get pure options so you can really scale this down if you've not got a high-end system or you can bump it all up and if you've got a really decent system. It has to be said though, if you looked at the resolution I'm playing in 720p, I would normally always be playing in 1080. It's probably a little bit of bad programming from the developers but in areas of this game you'll be on 300 fps not an issue and then you'll just shift a tiny little bit of your screen to the left and then all of a sudden you're on 10 fps um, it's always when you go in towards the out of bounds areas so i don't know if there's like a leak or anything there but it really affects performance and if i had it on 1080p it would mean that my FPS dropped below 30, which would have caused all sorts of time and syncing errors in the actual final video. So I do apologize about the quality. The options that you'll see for the video still will be 1080p and original, because I will upscale them. And on original quality, it'll basically look like 720, except much higher resolution and fidelity. So be sure to check that out. Anyway, on your audio, you're very basic. You've got music and sound effects volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the music down a little bit you won't really hear it because I'm going to reduce the sound of the game anyway for the actual final editing process okay so we click apply um, so we've got a few modes we've got campaign rampage um, and inside campaign you go through all the levels as normal in rampage it's more like an easier way to play that level and try and beat your previous score because it's all about leaderboards in this game Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll start on campaign. I've already played a tiny little bit of the game and we'll start again on super glue. It's the first level and I'll talk you through what the game is doing and why I like it and what I dislike, what it looks like, anything I would change and, and eventually we'll get to the point of is it going to be worth for you to go out and buy this game. Okay, so we're loading up now. Okay, so we're into the game. Okay, so my contract for this time is to destroy all the buildings to 100%, nice and simple. I will get a million dollars for doing this. And rather than having an okay box with a tip box, you get a sign here box, which will put your little stamp of authority on there. Okay, so what I need to do is pick up these coins, which are all over the shop. Um, do this by right clicking, now I've got them. Um, which means I've got four oil clouds. Oil clouds will make a car skid um, in the current direction that they're already heading. So I click that to select it and then bang. Look what happens. Crunch and sweet destruction. 
just the way we like it. Um, you clean up the debris, you get cash for all the stuff that you clean up, and it'll allow a park to grow, so yeah. Um, by destroying that, I got a few more things. I got wheel glue, which, depending on which side of the road I stick it on, the tires of that car will stick and it will make it swerve in a current di in like a direction it's quite hard to use takes a bit of practice but it does work really well when you get used to it so for instance I want to hit them explosive barrels they are red so they must be explosive and boom I take another one down nice and simple collect all them bits and then because I've got some debris in the road these cars are stopped which is bad news for me because you really need to keep them cars going um, can I hit this? There we go. Another building down. Nice and simple. Obviously, as you can see on the menu, I've got three clouds and three wheel glues. And look at all the other slots. It means that I'm assuming I haven't finished the game. Um, like I said, I haven't played much, but I'm assuming that means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different um, things I can use to manipulate the environment in order to cause this, just cause all this destruction. Okay, so we'll just try and speed through and destroy these last few buildings. Um, and then I'll show you what happens when you play seriously. Really could do something on this side of the... Ah, that's probably why. There we go. So hopefully something will come on this side now. Come on, I want to hit them red barrels. That'll do. So yeah, another building down. Even though the graphics are very simple and the buildings are effectively just blocks, it looks really good and it's quite satisfying when you see them start to collapse. Um, it's a job well done on that respect, definitely. I'm really failing at trying to hit these two red barrels and that will be embarrassing on the tutorial. Oh, oh, no, yeah, oh, no. Come on. Hit them barrels, please. I think there's a blockage somewhere because I should have cars on this side. Don't know where that blockage could be, but. Okay, so it looks like the world wants to be hard on me. Which means I will have to try my best to make this work. How about if I mix it up, put an oil cloud here, and then use this. And can I make it skid in its current direction? Oh! Come on, go! Ah, this car will blow up. Come on, you'll blow up, guys. There we go, another building down. So I'm onto my last building. It's gonna be a hard one, I think. Um, let's use these oil clouds and. Come on! There we go, job finally done. I was starting to question it. Okay, so now you get the basic idea of what I have to do. I need to destroy buildings. Nice and simple, it's not too complicated whatsoever. Um, the graphics are good, as you can see. Um, wow, look how bad I did. That is pretty atrocious. I don't know how many people are on the leaderboard, so it actually might be quite good. Um, I don't think any of my friends no, none of my friends have got it. Never mind. So what I'll do is I'll replay the mission and play it a little bit more seriously so you get to see how the game will play if you're playing it really seriously. Okay, so let's stamp this. And let's get it going. Okay, nice and easy, see? Look how easy I made that look. Um, hopefully I'm a little bit better on the leaderboard, but I doubt it. I am pretty rubbish, but that's just me. I'm not great at these kind of puzzle games. 
Okay, so that time I came 16th on the leaderboards, and I suppose if I did try a little bit harder, I probably would have totally caned the leaderboards. So yeah, we'll do a continue. Okay, so now you get the basic idea of what the game's all about. Um, we'll skip it up a little bit. I've got a new one, which is called Earthquake. Um, I haven't played this mission, as you can see. There's no star rating. And we'll have a quick look and see what this mission's all about. And if I'm going to pwn some buildings with big trucks. That is a cool demolition guy. Okay, destroy all buildings. I will get $2 million for this. And will I sign the contract? Of course I will, because I am hardcore. Super weapon, earthquake bomb unlocked. Pay that 450,000 to make it available. So I need to destroy 450,000 before I can even use it. Um, I have got oil clouds, wheel glue already. So what would be the best use? First of all, we have to look for somewhere where there's a straight car going to use the oil. That looks like that'll be here. And, oh, will I take two? Yes, I, w no. Oh, come on. That were pretty damn close. Pretty, pretty damn close. Oh, and there it goes. Epic win. I'm going to have to put another one straight down here anyway because of the fact that I want to destroy this. And it failed. Will it fail? Come on. Yeah. Never mind. So, where can I go from here? And what is this little guy? Press T to talk. Speed Demon, I wonder if it's possible to drive a car 10 seconds through the city f with full throttle. I don't know. What does this lady want? Please help an old woman cross the street. Um, how would I do that? Possibly by making these cars stop. Let's have a look. Will she cross? Come on, lady. Move. No, she doesn't seem to want to. Anyway, let's get back to this mission because I am sucking quite hard right now. Bang. Oh, what was I trying to do? And I failed so hard. I don't think it's going to be possible for me to do this now. Okay, so I'm right now need to make some big money. Big, big money. Come on. Oh, yes. It's a lot of money. Lots of monies. This game, as simple as it looks, is probably a lot deeper than what it seems. However, with leaderboards and it being so much dependent on random kind of physics, I'm kind of wondering if the leaderboards are going to get glitched out pretty soon. There's surely going to be somebody who gets very lucky, hits one barrel, and just because of the random nature of physics, destroys the whole area that he's in. And although that is totally right and um, what real life is like, it could kind of mess up the game. And I'm running out of objects, so I think I'm going to have to restart this one. Because I am nowhere near the money that I was hoping to be at. I can't even think where I can attack now, because I've lost so much stuff. Oh, come on. No, I'm going to have to restart this one. Okay, so let's play it quite seriously now. Um, see if I'm still going to suck quite hard. So we figured out at the start that if we do this, we get to blow up some stuff. Oh, the wrong lane. How I did just mess up. But with a little bit of luck, that might actually explode these barrels and cause a chain reaction. Building survived, but I took out two things anyway, so it's not too bad. 
of this side, if I try to take out this big building here, it looks like there's something on top of there, so that could be quite beneficial. Oh, there we go. Massive damage. I got five cows. Interesting. And what are cows? This cow explodes when touched, placed near streets or objects to cause a change reaction. Nice and simple. Um, what will I want to blow up? I want to blow up this building. So then if I do this and then make this run into that. Yep. It works. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm over halfway towards my earthquake. I'm probably going to save my earthquake for these two big buildings here. Um, yeah, it probably looks like that. So let's try and take this one out here. Uh, oh, come on. Hopefully that will explode. I should have maybe put this. I could still do it. There we go. Now, I was kind of pushing my luck. Will it work? Yes! Oh. See, random physics. Other buildings have gone down far easier, and that one just seems to be like... No, I'm not going anywhere, bitch. Come on, come on, big spin, big spin. Take that out. No. Maybe the explosion. Oh, that's got to do it. And I've got my earthquake. Let's place that here. Wow. Epic destruction. Let's clean all that up. A few extra points. Oh, she crossed the road. Cool. What happens now? Ah, so it's a way of getting extra items. That could be very useful. Okay, so this guy can't go on while them cars are parked there. I'm sure I can help him out. Let's stick this here. Oh yes, perfect timing. If these both blow up now, then hopefully I can remove that one and the guy will be happy, but I don't want him to get blown up and killed. Okay, is this one going to blow? No. So let's place that there. Bang! It looks like it's going to go down, so could be onto a winner. There we go. Right, there's no cards part there. Okay, I've used this one before. Car controller means that I can control a car and drive it, which is very useful if something's in a strange position. Um, let's see what this big gas tanker does. This should be an interesting one. Ah, go on, into the big building. Oh! Boom! Epic destruction. And then we just got this last building, which I'm sure this car should be able to handle. There we go. I think I've just finished this level. Yeah. Okay, the game doesn't really get any more complex than that. This is what the game basically is all about. It's about destroying buildings in any way that you see possible um, using the items that you've been given. I like the game. I'm glad that I bought it. I think that you guys could probably really enjoy it, especially if you get a couple of mates with it. It's only £7.19 at the moment on Steam, which is about €10. Euros. I'm not too certain, but that's around the level of uh, cost it's going to cost you. And the leaderboard battles can be very, very intense. I enjoyed it because when I first got the game, right, like a couple of minutes after it launched, 
I got caught in this leaderboard battle on one of the levels for about a good hour and this I'd beat the guy's time I check it 10 minutes later and he's beat my time and went back and forth and we played the same level for like two or three hours it was immense uh, I did really enjoy the game it's different it kind of reminds me of Blast Corps from the N64 which was released like 10 years ago or something silly um, except instead of being in control of the cars even though you can be like you just saw you've got to be more creative you need to think about how to manipulate other vehicles to do your bidding um, yeah for an indie developer it's a top-notch game it's got a few performance issues like I mentioned it's why I'm in 720p and not 1080 like I normally would be um, but yeah give it a check out guys I've heard that there might be a demo on the way coming soon so if you're still a little bit unsure wait for that but don't forget about this game because even though it's not a triple-a title and it's gonna be a pick up and play kind of play for an hour here play for an hour there I reckon you can get quite a bit of fun from it and I was quite willing to come back today after having it yesterday um, and I have this game and when I finish this video I'm probably gonna go back on the game so yeah please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to my videos on YouTube the more comments and rates and subscribers I get the more I'm likely going to produce this kind of content because at the moment I'm drawn between do I do gameplay commentaries or do I do impressions, reviews, do I go for a professional setup, I'm not too certain. Please do tell me what you guys like because my core base at the moment is the ones that are most important to me and you wouldn't want to miss that by me moving my style over to something else because that's what's going to be getting me the most views. Again, thanks for watching guys, and I will have another first impressions for you quite soon. I'm looking forward to a Game of Thrones, which should be out later this week, so be sure to check that one out. Thanks a lot guys, good game.